Good afternoon, world. It's Ivan Amer. It's 4.17 p.m. I just came back from work. I'm fucking tired. Today I worked at 10, so I'll, uh, when I work at 10, it's not that bad because I, I get a good sleep and I get to sleep in. But the manager told me, he told me, oh, I mean, you work Thursday, but he didn't tell me the time. But usually on Thursdays, I come in at 10. So I came in at 10 today, obviously. He didn't get mad at me. I came in at 10. And I work tomorrow at 9. And I get Saturday off. And hopefully the chick works tomorrow. I haven't seen the chick in, like, what? In, like, two weeks, man. Well, I saw her last Friday, but she just came by for, like, five minutes to talk to the manager, but... Last time I saw her was like two weeks ago. I saw her when I said bite her and all that stuff. My guess is she works Saturday and she also works Sunday. But I didn't work. I didn't work Sunday last Sunday because I was a bit depressed. And I had a bit of a headache. I didn't want to work, so I called in and I looked. My I can't work today. I'm not feeling too good today. I'm sad. I was fine. I was fine, obviously, but I had a bit of a headache. I didn't get much sleep. I didn't want to work on Sunday. Yeah, and I work next, uh, I work Sunday, and he'll probably make me work maybe Monday, then maybe give me Tuesday off, or he might give me Monday off and make me work Tuesday all the way to Friday. It's different every week. Some days, I prefer he gives, I prefer he makes me work Monday, then I get Tuesday off, and I work three days instead of getting Monday off and working four days in a row, right? I'd rather work three days in a row instead of four days in a row. Four days in a row is too much. I'd rather work three days in a row is not bad. Four days in a row is too much, obviously. Yesterday I was off, and I worked Monday, Tuesday. Then I worked, got Wednesday off. The best day to get off in, during a weekday is Wednesday, because it evens it out, obviously. The week, the, it evens the days out, obviously. You work Monday, Tuesday, and you get Wednesday off. And you work Thursday, Friday, you only work two two shifts in a row. And then the the, the day you get off Wednesdays is the best day to, to, to get off during the weekday because it's it's evenly uh split your shifts obviously during the weekday. And he gives me Saturday off. And I get Sunday. I work Sunday obviously. Hopefully the chick works more because she didn't work last week. Unless she quit, I don't know, man. He was saying, if the chick quit, I know why she quit. She quit because she wasn't getting enough hours. So let's say, for example, tomorrow I go to work and she's not there. I'm scared. Oh, my God. What if she quit? You know what I'm saying? Uh, more bullshit happened again. Yeah, man. More bullshit happened again in Ivan's life when he likes a chick. I fucking told you, man. Yeah. But I don't think she quit, though. She told me. She's like, yeah, I'm looking for another job. I need more hours, but I'll still stay here. Obviously. I'm not hearing noise. Yeah. Some Sarah. And after this, I'm going to work on a lot. I haven't worked in a lot in like a week. I've been slacking off. So I'll work on that for like maybe 30 minutes. And I'm going to enjoy the video with you guys and my beer and my smokes. And I'll eat food upstairs. I'm not going to gain any more food. Obviously. So, Sarah? Oh, I'm just saying, yeah. Obviously. Next Friday, guys. It'll be the time. It's the, the, the days are today's June fifteenth, right? I said towards the end of June. Next Friday, guys, will be the, the day the, the day I asked around day, guys. Ivan O'Mara, at thirty one years old, finally asses this hot ass chick at, who works for reporting on a date. I never had a girlfriend in my life, guys. Never had one make I kissed girls, but I never had a makeout session with them. 
You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you a story. Um, I'll tell you a little story. I remember when I was in grade three. Yeah, when I was in grade three, obviously, when I just moved to uh, Hall, Quebec from Montreal, right? My, my so-called, my, um, my, my older stepbrother's best friend at the time, we were besties at the time, right? Um, 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 yeah. Um, what? He also went to the same school I was. He was in grade six at the time. He had a younger sister who was in my class. My grade three class, obviously. Because the, the class was split grade three and grade two. She was in grade two. I was in grade three, obviously, right? And she liked me, obviously. And I remember we I, I went to her house. We went to their house. We went to their house a lot of times as a family thing. We went to their house for dinner, obviously. And this was the first time I think I went to their house. This is like back in 2000. Yeah, this is back in 2000. It was the first time I went to their house, obviously. They had a nice house in Plateau Hall. And we hung out at the house. I remember it was time to eat food. And everyone went upstairs and I was alone with the... With the uh, with the chick, obviously. She remembers that, though, Zen. Yeah, and I, and I remember she what? <laughs> this happened, I mean, yeah, this happened when I was in grade three, man. It was, you know what I'm saying? I remember what? She liked me, obviously. She obviously liked me, but I didn't like her. I didn't like her, obviously. I wasn't really interested in her, obviously, but she obviously liked me. You know what I'm saying? I remember I was sitting down and she, she just randomly, like, kisses me. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> She says she kissed me like three times. She started kissing me on the lips. I'm like, what are you doing, man? Why are you kissing me on the lips? <laughs> I'm out of here, you know, and I went upstairs. We were kids. There was nothing sexual in that. We were fucking kids, obviously. But she kissed me like, I don't know, like three, four times on the lips. She liked me, obviously. This is when I was like, what, like nine years old? I was like a nine-year-old kid back then, yeah. And when I was a young kid, I wasn't that attractive. I was a fat kid. I was this fat kid. All the guys in Darcy who, who remember me from grade 4, grade 5, well, I'll tell you, yeah, Ivan wasn't that attractive when he was, like, 9, 10. No, I was a fat fucking kid, man. Obviously. Obviously. In high school, I was pretty good looking, but I wasn't super attractive. I was an attractive guy, but I wasn't super attractive. Obviously. You can argue that that guy I went to summer school was better looking than me when, when, when he was in high school. When I was in high school, obviously. Because my God gene did not take effect yet, obviously. It did not... I did not grow into the man um, I'm supposed to become, obviously. So, I'm so even though I was born with a God gene, obviously... Um, 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 hence why in the Bible says Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. Over the years, Jesus grew into the man he, he, he became to be. When he was 33, 34, 35 years old, since so I just like Victoria Justice, when she was a kid, she was she was attractive, obviously, obviously. But she, as she got older, she got way more hotter. Since there, the, the, her goddess genes start to take uh, take more effect in her in her in her in, in, in her growth. Just like I told you, I started to get more handsome like twenty fourteen, when I was twenty two. That's when I started to notice I was getting. I looked a, a little a bit more handsome, obviously. Whereas before that, I looked pretty good. But like I know it was how I look. I started to look a bit more handsome when. When I was like 22, that was when I started to look more handsome. That's how when I made, started my YouTube channel in 2015, you know how good looking I looked, right? When I had my short dress and I made those videos about VJ and all them. And he you know how handsome I looked. Yeah, the, 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 the God gene starts to take effect in my early 20s. And now I'm handsome as hell. I look handsome as hell, obviously. Yeah, that happened, man. My, so, or my older uh, stepbrothers... Best friend at the time. Obviously, uh, he has a younger sister. She fucking kissed me like three times in the room while like downstairs in the basement, like two three times. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> it was wet. My lips were wet. I was I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> she kissed me. She tried to kiss me like three times. I'm like, what are you doing? And I don't know why. I'm foul. I was. I'm why. Obviously, she was interested in me. Obviously, yeah. But my point is, man, everyone who I knew in my life, they all had girlfriends, they all had makeout sessions, they all had flings with a woman. I never had any of that, man. 
any of that. And all I ask is that you will do give me a fucking break, man. Like I'm, I'm I'm dating this one chick. Give me a fucking break in my life, man. Don't be crazy, people. Just give me a fucking break. You guys all had your, especially Victoria Justice. Victoria Justice is not even worthy to get angry. You had your fucking first year boyfriends. When I was lost, give me a fucking break and let me uh, 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 enjoy my my own room with my, with my girlfriend. If I end up dating this because she's crazy, she's like, I don't know how you do this, man. I love you. I'm like, VJ, I'm ignoring you. You're a crazy woman, Sinclair. It goes both ways. Like, you you let a lot of men touch you. I'm only letting one woman touch me. Stop being a crazy woman and being a fucking hypocrite. You crazy fucking woman. Yeah, I shut you up for good. Yeah, I even, you shut me up for good. That's what pisses me off. Yeah, I shut you up for good. You can't complain. You can't say shit. Is there? Yeah. So next week, guys, will be the week I ask her on a date, guys. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm going I'm to ask her on a date. I mean, how are you going to do it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be like, hey, he doesn't judge. Am I, you, am I you counting your tips? Yeah, I'm counting my tips. Hey, I was just wondering, do you, do, do, do you want to go out to dinner sometime? I'm like, dinner avec moi, Saint Hubert, uh, vendredi prochain à 7h30. She's like, dinner, you go avec toi, oui, oui, dinner avec moi, I'm saying. Sincere. 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 And what? She's like, sure, I'm going to dinner with you. Okay, okay. Just give me a sec. I, I, I got to cut my tips. Okay, I'll wait. And I wait. You know what I'm saying? And I get her number down. Obviously. I get her number down, obviously. I'm sorry. I get her number down. Obviously, I'm like, holy shit, I did it. You know what I'm saying? All my so-called friends all had their girlfriends. My so-called best friend in high school, who was not that good-looking of a guy. Don't hate me. He was not that good-looking of a guy in high school, to be honest. He was not bad-looking. I don't know, in high school, he was above average. Maybe, I don't know. In high school, he was maybe a 6. A 5.86. And now he's pretty good looking. Now he's maybe a 7. 7.5. He's a pretty good looking. He's a pretty he's good. He got better looking now. I think I think he's better looking than his brothers, obviously. But in high school, he was fat. He wasn't a good looking guy. He, he, had, he had good enough game. And he had two girlfriends, man. He was still at manage. And he dated pretty hot chicks, too. His first girlfriend, a lot chick, she was hot. She was pretty hot, and the other chick, uh, the white, she was a white chick. She was hot too. Arguably hotter than the mulatto chick, right? Yeah, he dated two hot chicks. I remember towards the end of the year, he told me he went to this party. Um, I'll tell you a story of what happened at prom. Obviously, I you have a lot of crazy stories. Yes, I have a lot of crazy stories with my so-called friends and, and, and Darcy. I remember towards the end of the year, this is when my so-called best friend he started to lose the weight. And he got more handsome, obviously. And then he told me how he went to this party and he made out with his chick at the party all night long. She was not bad. I saw her. She was not bad, obviously. And he was supposed to go to prom with her and she liked him a lot, obviously. Obviously, right? <laughs> this is what happened. Was that we went to prom, obviously. We went. We had our prom dinner, obviously. I remember the chick came because uh, the, 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 the chick the chick the chick wanted wanted wanted, wanted, wanted to go to prom with, uh, with, 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 with 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 him obviously and he's like what are you doing here he said, I'm so I'm supposed to be a prom day he's like look man I'm not I'm not interested in a relationship right now you know what I'm saying the chick cried <laughs> she laughed <laughs> that's cool but that happened man and the chick cried she's supposed to be his prom day he didn't want to go to prom with her changed his mind and she went home crying yeah man she was not bad but he made out with her man you see what i'm saying how they had all these moments yeah all my so called friends had all these moments and, and darcy man you know i'm saying they had a lot of makeout sessions in uh when i was in high school man you know i'm saying my good friend 
my good friend, obviously, who uh, who worked at McEwen's, who always bragged about that uh, that uh, what that owner at McEwen's, who's 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 filthy rich, obviously. I'm not kidding around. The owner of McEwen's, the guy was rich, man. He he, made, he probably made like 200, 250, 300k a year. I remember my good friend, my good friend kept telling me, yeah, he has like a like a five hundred thousand dollar house with an indoor pool, Ivan. He's fucking loaded, yeah. But the whole time I'm way, way, way bigger than him. He's nothing compared to me. Yeah, it's actually funny. I'm saying, the guy who's an electrician now, right? Who's successful, obviously. He probably makes a hundred thousand dollars a year. He had, uh, what? Um, uh, he didn't have any girlfriends in grade ten or grade eleven, but he had a girlfriend in grade nine. He dated the the, the good looking guy who went to summer school's fourth girlfriend in in grade eleven. In grade nine, he dated that chick, and she cheated on him. Obviously, she made out with another guy, and she cheated on him. So there, and he ended up dumping her. Obviously, a lot of drama with my so-called friends with the, with the woman. Obviously, and I remember he always kept telling me, "Yeah, I'm thinking of getting my dick sucked." You know, and he was hooking up with that with 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 I, I think he was hooking up with that one chick who's now his wife, and they have kids together. She's not bad. They were hooking up during the, the so even though he didn't have a girlfriend, he had flings. He was hooking up with women, and he. he he was, he, he, they, they what? He got head from woman, obviously. See what I'm saying? How all these guys, and that guy who, who's, who's a good looking friend of mine, he wasn't the best looking guy. Don't hate me. He wasn't the best looking guy, but even he was able to get girlfriends and, and what? And what? And, uh, and what? And, and have and have all these flings. I believe the chick he flinged with in grade ten and grade eleven is now his wife, and they have they have a, a I think a kid together, and he bought a beautiful house in Elmer, like a nice house, man. Like it, it, he's not a millionaire, but like it's a beautiful house. Like he lives in that area where they have brand new houses, and the houses are beautiful, man. Nice fucking house he bought, yeah. Obviously. I'm saying, yeah, his younger brother, who was a pretty good friend of mine, he knows who he is. Obviously, I got high with him many times. I got drunk with him a few times. You know, I remember one time we smoked weed, and I we went to like one for ones, and we bought like a medium. I bought a medium, and we had a meeting together. We were laughing. We were fucking stoned, man. I remember that moment. I saw him a couple weeks ago. Um, uh, near where I worked, I said hi to him. He's older now. He's like 30 years old now. He's a year younger than me. He's 30 years old now. He's Jack now. I think he does... Uh, I think he's a carpenter. He has this nice truck. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit, this guy got older. I remember when he was a kid in high school. <laughs> yeah, man, it's crazy. You know, I said, all these guys are all 30. All the guys who are who are my so-called friends in Darcy are all 31, 30 years old. They're all in their 30s now. They're, no, they're not in their 20s anymore. They're all in their 30s. They're all old now. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? And 10 years from now, they'll be 40. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm saying, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but even that guy's younger brother had a girlfriend, too. And he told me stories how he, uh, he, 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 he banged his girlfriend, too. Yeah, man. They all told me these stories, obviously. The black guy who was best friends with that guy who owned the club he did not have any girlfriends in high school but i believe he flinged with some chicks obviously he probably flinged with chicks made out with them and they they, they might have banged. i don't know i think he lost his virginity after high school that guy but i don't know if he, he was still a virgin i think he maybe lost his virginity after high school but i know he made out with women and they, they probably they probably gave him head neck on his stuff some saying yeah the guy who owned the club I don't know when he lost his virginity. My guess is maybe high school or perhaps after high school. A lot of guys in Darcy lost their virginity after high school. Some guys were virgins even in high school. And they lost their virginity after high school. Sometime. But most of the guys who I knew in Darcy most likely lost their virginity while they were in high school. They lost their virginity, obviously. They lost their virginity while they were in high school, obviously. And they all had flings. Yeah. My so-called best friend told me a story 
where one time he was he was with this, this other guy. He was hanging out with a bunch of girls, obviously. And they all went in the hot tub uh, in, in their bikinis. Obviously, my so friend's friends like, yeah, I'm not going in that hot tub. Those girls are dirt. He didn't go in the hot tub. Those, those girls were trash for a woman, obviously. He didn't go in the hot tub. That's girls. They're all dirt. He didn't go in the hot tub with them, obviously. He told me those stories, yeah. I'm sorry, huh? Well, my point is, all my so-called friends, my not bad friends, or my good friends, or my oh my like my my so-called best friends, they all have their their girlfriends and their makeout sessions and their flings. A woman, even my so-called best my so-called best friend had two girlfriends. They had flings. He made out with that chick towards the end of the year when when he went to this party and and, and she had he was supposed to go to prom with her and he crushed her. He said, "I don't want to be in a relationship," and and, and and she went went away crying, obviously. He also flinged with another Spanish chick. This is after high school. I remember this. Um, I saw her. I hung out with him. This is when he started to lose the weight. He looked a bit better. Obviously. And I saw the Spanish chick. He was like, yeah, I made out with her, Ivan. We made out in the pool and all that stuff. I'm like, you made out with that chick? I'm like, yeah, holy shit, she's hot. That chick was actually hot. It didn't work out with him, obviously. But but he, my point is, he, he made out with her. I never had any of that. So I'm saying, yeah. Obviously, so I'm saying, Yeah. The white guy, the white guy who had that father who passed away, obviously, who was who was a good friend of mine. He wasn't my best friend, my so-called best friend, but he was a good friend of mine. I hung out with him a lot. He came over to the apartment a lot. I slept over his house like two or three times. Um, I hung out with him a lot. I hung out with him a lot, man. I hung out with that guy uh, a lot after... Grade 11, I hung out with him for maybe a good six months a lot, and I stopped hanging out with him. But I hung out with him a lot. I always called him up, hey, what you doing, man? I'm doing this. Hey, you want any? He picked me up at my house and we chill. Obviously, some Sarah. That guy got chicks. He knows who he is, obviously. That guy got chicks, man. He was, he, he, is he a good looking guy, Evan? Yeah, he's a good looking guy. He's a good looking guy, obviously. He was better looking than my so-called best friend in high school, but now you can argue my so-called best friend's um, um, my so-called best friend in high school is better looking than him. But that, that guy's a good-looking guy. He's a pretty-looking guy. He's a, I don't know. He's like a seven out of ten. Good-looking guy. Pretty-looking guy. Obviously, he got chicks, man. I remember I saw. I remember he had his first girlfriend, who he lost his virginity to when he was like 15, 14 years old. I remember we went to we we hung out on Canada's day. In, in, in downtown Ottawa, I remember like he was making out with his girlfriend right in front of all of us. He picked her up and her legs were out there when he made out with her right in front of all of us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he, I think he dated this Asian chick. She was pretty hot, but she wasn't as hot as his first girlfriend. They hooked up too. He told me stories about how, yeah, she's crazy in bed, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? And she looks yeah, she looks like a nice girl, but she's not a nice girl alive, and she's crazy in bed and all that stuff. They hooked up, obviously. And I remember later on, after grade 11, and we hung out with... with I hung out with this other guy. Uh, the guy I hung out with... Uh, I, uh, it was it was me, the, the, the white guy, obviously, who, who had that father who passed away. Uh, my condolences, by the way. And what... And this other French guy who, 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 this other French guy, the French guy who I hung out with, he dated that hot chick from the, the, from, from what, who works at, uh, Elmer Bar. He dated her, like, a couple of years back. I remember I saw him at the bar, and she, she kissed him, obviously, so they were obviously dating. I'm like, what are you doing with him? You can do better than that. And I don't think you're dating anymore, but you can do better than that, you know what I'm saying? He did, obviously. Yeah, I hung out with him, and I hung out with this other chick who was slutty, obviously. She was a slutty chick. She was so slutty, she had pictures. I'm not kidding around, man. She had pictures on her Facebook of her fucking men. And they took pictures of that, and they posted it there. <laughs> really? I mean, yes, man. The guy showed me the pictures, man. The, the guy, 
my my so called good friend, he showed me the pictures of her fucking another man. She was a slutty chick, man. She's a slutty fucking chick, yeah. She was a slutty chick, yeah, man. You could tell she didn't like me. That chick didn't like me at all. She didn't like me at all, man, that chick. That, she was a hot chick, obviously. She kind of looked like his first girlfriend. That chick did not like me at all, man. She knows who she is, obviously. Yeah, I think he flinged with her, too. That, 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 uh, the, the good-looking guy, um, who's my so-called good friend, he flinged with her, too, obviously. You see what I'm saying? How all my so-called friends, they all had their moments, make out such with all these girls. Yeah, man, they all have those moments. I never had any of that, man. Even though Victoria Justice is a bitch and she's holding up for her, at least Victoria Justice had those moments with, with men. I never had any of that, man. You see what I'm saying? That's my point. My so-called, my stepbrothers all had those moments with women, too. They all made out with chicks and they had girlfriends and flings. Obviously. Yeah. Girlfriends or flings. My oldest stepbrother had a few girlfriends. My younger stepbrother, to my recollection, he did not have any girlfriends since like grade eight. But he he flinged with women. He hooked up with a lot of women while while he was in high school, while he was in college and stuff. Some singer. He hooked up with a lot of women, but he didn't have any girlfriends. But he had flings with women, obviously. He flinged with a few women in uh in in in, 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 in uh in uh in while he was in uh, uh university. He, he told he showed me the pictures of them. Yeah, they're texting me and all stuff. Yeah, he, my films like they all have these moments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And all of a sudden, I don't know, I go on my first date, and then, and then, and then you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And what? And, no, I don't know. The day happens. The following Friday, I'm getting ready to go on a date at St. Hubert's, obviously. And I'm dressed up nice, and, and, and my youngest set brother and my parents, and my set parents are curious. Ivan, where are you going? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, uh, I'm going to Snack Shack. I'm lying. I'm like, no, I'm going to St. Hubert's to have to have dinner with the with the chick, obviously. I don't want them knowing where I'm going, obviously. And I call. I'm like, no, I want to go on my own. I don't want you coming. I don't want you meeting this chick. I don't trust you, Susanna. Yeah, and they're curious. And I'm scared they might stalk me, too, man. They might drive by around St. Hubert's to see who I'm, who I'm going on a date with. Because they're curious, obviously. Because they're crazy people. Yeah, man. Because my stepfather does... Uber Eats. He does Uber Eats, obviously. So I'm scared he, he, he might drive by there. My younger said brother, sometimes he takes walks around the city. Where St. Hubert's is, obviously. Like a 30-minute walk. He might do that to see who I'm dating on. Because he's curious, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you're not going to bring it to your house? No. If I do, the demons are going to manifest, guaranteed. You're going to hear all these demonic, wicked laughs. You're going to be filled with jealousy and envy. I want to fuck this shit. I want to fuck things up in Ivan's life. My set parents are going to give her dirty stares. My stepmother might tell, might tell uh, my stepfather, I don't like that one. I don't want her seeing Ivan. Because she somehow thinks she controls who I date. No. You may lock the doors on me, but you, don't, you have no control on who I date. I'm not your fucking husband, man. I know you want to have sex with me, but you don't control who I am. I can date whoever I want. I'm not your fucking husband, and then what? You know what I'm saying? Leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, man. I'm saying? Yeah. And do not tell the employees at work. Otherwise, they're going to become demonized, too. I told you, that guy clapped his hands. He mocked me, man. Just for thinking just for thinking that I, I got her number down. He mocked me. He clapped his hands like four times. I, he knows what I'm saying. Yeah, I, have, yeah, I did that. Yeah, you clap your hands in front of me. You're mocking me because you, the demons are, are, are what? Start to manifest when it comes to me and, and, and woman. Obviously, you guys are crazy people. I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, how crazy are you expecting it to be? I think I'm exaggerating when I say woman will hit her. I think I think I'm just saying that to entertain you guys. I'm exaggerating, but people will guarantee give her dirty stares. I'm guaranteed going to hear wicked demonic laughs, obviously, and some people might call her harmful names and might even threaten her. But I don't think they'll lay a hand on her. 
but it might be so bad some woman might hit her and all that stuff. They might try to hit her. I'm like, look, man, the moment you try to lay a hand on her, man, you're pushing it. Don't fucking touch her, man. Don't touch this chick. You know what I'm saying? You're committing a violent, of, 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 of what, an offense? You know what I'm saying? Don't touch her, man. I know you're jealous, but don't fucking touch the chicks, I'm saying. Don't be a fucking crazy woman. Yeah, man. Because you guys are messing with me, Jay obviously. It's so bad that I can't even, I can't even report to the police because the police are all demonized, too. The, ma the male police, you know what I'm saying? The male police, the woman police, they're all going to become demonized, too, when they see me with the chick. They're all going to become demonized, too. Yeah, because you guys are messing with me, Jay Yeah, man. Crazy people. Can't bring her to my house. Can't have her meet my step cousins or my or my uh can't have her meet my step cousins. You know what I'm saying? My step uncles. I can't have her meet any of those guys. I can't have her meet I can't have her meet uh I can't I can't meet her 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 family. As her family members are all going to become demonized too. They're all going to become... The demons are going to manifest, guaranteed. But yeah, if you want to be with me for the next three, four years, you it can only be me and you, man. Private. We have to date in, date in secret. That's why I'm making another unique movie. It's the symbols of my life, obviously. you got to date me in secret. And you can only be... Whenever we hang out, it can only be me and you. I can't hang out with your friends. Otherwise, they're going to become filled with jealousy and envy. They're going to become demonized too, obviously. Sarah. They're going to become demonized too, obviously. Why? Well, your friends will be demonized? Yes, they're going to be demonized. Oh, well, they see me holding her hand. You can piss them off while they see me hugging her. They see me, they see me holding her all so they can get envious, obviously, and they become demonized too, obviously. From Sarah. And they can betray her and try and go for me because when it comes to me, the world's crazy, obviously. From Sarah. But the red is not stupid. She 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 will never introduce me to her friends. She'll never let me hang out with her friends. But she doesn't trust her friends all. You can't trust your friends. Yeah, you can't trust your friends, man. They're gonna be demonized. I what do you mean demons? You'll see what I mean when you hang out with me, man. Beware of the demons. That's all I'm gonna say, man. Beware of the demons. Beware of the demons that work too. If you tell them, they're all gonna become demonized, they're gonna hate on me. And they're they're gonna what? Some of the, the waitresses might yell at you. They might they might become crazy people. Yeah. Because they're filled with jealousy and envy, obviously. They're jealous of the fact that she's on a date with the Son of God. The waitresses at St. Hubert's are, are guaranteed going to give her dirty stares. Some might even be flirtatious around me to, to make her uncomfortable. And, 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 and I'm saying she's not kind of here. 